Hey, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and I'm here at Cinema Sound Studio B. And today we're going to be talking about uh, one of the projects that we worked on called Lady Deadpool Diaries. And they had to actually pull back their product and put out a PSA to tell all their fans that, hey, this is coming soon. They didn't have any money, and we had to do it really, really fast. And I wanted to show you what a complete replacement of every bit of set sound looked like and how we did it. We're going to do it in Pro Tools. Um, but it was very fast and just kind of using a super efficiency of sounds and mix elements to get a nice cohesive whole to make it still feel immersive, but not break the time budget or the physical budget. Let me show you what happened. We're here in Pro Tools 12, uh, Cinema Sound's favorite number, and uh, we're looking at the uh, short, the Lady Deadpool PSA, and we're gonna basically open up this mix and kind of show what we had to do to replace the sound that was there. So let's start with the actual scene. We're gonna play, uh, these are the on-set tracks that we recorded in stereo. Uh, basically, as a reference, we knew that the audio was gonna be terrible because there was a jacuzzi running and a bunch of other stuff. But here we go. Uh, yeah, just from here, just a couple of places. So you get it, right? <laughs> There's just no usable audio there. It's a fantastic recording of that jacuzzi's pump motors, however. So we had to replace everything. Dialogue, ambiences, foley, sound effects, and of course, music. Here's what we ended up with. I'm going to unsolo these tracks here. Did you bring me a bowl of grapes? Like a big one for my mouth? Yes, I give that a seven. All right, so it's a pretty significant difference. Everything in that is replaced. There's nothing in that that's live. And let's just, I'm just going to take you through some of this so you can kind of see what we had to do. And hopefully you can do the same when you have to do a complete 100% replacement. Well, so the first thing is ADR. And as you know, in CinemaSend, we're always talking about looping not doing ADR as 10 times faster and much more efficient and better yes! results. So everything that we have here on the dialogue bus is basically your looping tracks that are happening here. And in fact, let's go to this bit here. And I'll turn this back on here so that we can hear our solos. We need this too. Mouth. Can you bring me a bowl of grapes? Like a big one for my mouth? And what we've done here is um, we've added the R verb compress, uh, the R, R, R verb compressor. That's great, Mark. The Renaissance verb, so that it feels like they're in tile and things like this. And we're, you're also listening to it on a really powerful internet mix, which makes that reverb sound even bigger than it really would be uh, without the whole mix in. Can you bring me a bowl of grapes? Like a big one for my mouth? See, with the with everything else in there, it's much less. But by itself, you're like, wow, that's a lot of reverb. I know, but when you add everything else and the compression on the master, which I'll show you in a second, you'll see it works. So we did that. Everything ADR'd, which of course in her face, since her face is behind a mask, was a lot easier. <laughs> then what else did we do? Well, we got this music. We'll mute that. That doesn't help what this example is all about. And let's see. Let's go down and start at the bottom. We've got ambiences down here. I'm not trying to do that, but thank you. Here we go, ambience one. Jacuzzi bubbles. Pool pump. And we opted to go with a pool pump that was a little less loud than the sound of the actual pool pump, but together, it's pretty cool. And then we had Foley. Um, this is kind of your Foley bus let's unsolo that um we had to create some snaps for her what i think i actually recorded here in the studio here's some footsteps wet footsteps and you can tell those are canned fully so it's like ugh. but in the whole mix
they're a little thick, but they work, and it's comedy anyway. And then we've got the balloon, the rubber balloon turtle. Again, not real Foley. It's just from a library. And when you mix it in with everything else, I knew that the I knew that the splash was going to cover most of the problems with that particular Foley track, but I left it in just as some ancillary rubberized sound. And that's all the Foley we did. We didn't do a ton of it. We could have gone crazy and done them all working in the bubbles, but it just wasn't really going to play and a lot of work that we didn't have to do. Then the actual replacement of the water is what took uh, all the time. We have Big Splash 1, which I can't hear because I need that to be there. Fine, Big Splash 2. And together... They make for a pretty cool sound. And then general splashes, where it's sort of them in the middle of it all and him getting up out of it, splashing around. And then sort of Foley splashes. But again, this is all library. We didn't do any Foley except for maybe those snaps. Here's some light water movement. just kind of uh, judiciously placed in this mix here in time so that we know that the, it doesn't have to be perfect, it, we just know that that big splash is going to cover most of what's going on and that we just need the entry to sound right. And then you're into that big splash. And then some other splashes just to help. And then another one here. Just to try to get his hands in on the action. And then all together, here's what the splashes, without the big splashes sound like. Is that all three of them? Yeah. Anyway, and then all the splashes put together. And you've got, you know, it's not, it's not the biggest and the best you've ever seen, but for a quick, boy, it's got to have something in there because we can't possibly use the onset sound. It's pretty good. Let's see if there's anything else in here that we want to look at. We got the dialogue, we got the splashes, we got the ambiences, and we got the rubber balloon stuff. That's all we really had in here. So for a down and dirty quick solution to a complete replacement, I give that a seven. It's not too shabby. And you can do this, it doesn't have to be in Pro Tools, of course. It can be in anything, digital, uh, digital performer, uh, audition, any of it. And nothing here is done because Pro Tools was so great. It's just because that's where it ended up because that's how we got stuff from the editor. You can do this too. Drop us a line and see if you have any questions and we will answer them on the Cinema Sound forum and blog. So it's a lot of fun to work on little projects, helps you hone your skills and things like this. But I want you to, I want you to show you this. Not, you know, I'm always saying, hey, do as much as you can, you know, add all the layers and all this. Look, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you don't have the time. Sometimes you don't have the money and you just have to put it out. And this is a way, you know, to some judicious editing, the right layering of sounds, not tons of sounds. It'd be nice, but if you can't, I just want to show you this is what's possible and to create a really fun result for something that, you know, everybody loved and made its impact and we can be proud of. And if you have productions that you want to learn or get your skills better at this, come join us on the cinemasound.com blog and talk to us on the forum, and we'll do our best to get you up and running in no time. And until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you